The year is 1995 and the young Elon Musk wants to start a company. This is the 90s. Silicon Valley's flushed with cash on the back of the success of the 80s computer boom. The new revolution now is the internet. Elon Musk sees a massive opportunity. But how was he going to capitalize on this enormous opportunity? What brilliant idea did the genius that is Elon come up with? Simply put, it was Yellow Pages on the internet. Now you'd think Yellow Pages Online wasn't that good of an idea and that no investor would fund it, right? Well, this was the late 90s. The dot-com bubble was in full swing. Put dot-com at the end of any website and it was guaranteed to get millions of dollars in funding. And that's what Elon Musk did. Elon Musk founded Zip2 along with his brother and a third co-founder, Greg Curry. Musk bought a disk containing a business directory and then approached a company called Navtag, a provider of electronic navigable maps to give him free mapping software. He then wrote the basic code necessary to put the two databases together, the business directory and the online map. Zip2 struggled to get customers. They pitched their idea to local businesses trying to sell listings on the website. However, the product barely worked and when it did, it was extremely slow. The idea itself was really basic. It was just a glorified Yellow Pages website. It was so basic that Elon Musk could build a large fake casing around his computer whenever investors were around to make it seem like the website was running on a sophisticated supercomputer. In addition to this, Elon and Kimball would frequently get into arguments about the company. The governance of the company was so bad that once the company received its first outside investment, it had the condition that Elon Musk had to step down as CEO. So a new CEO by the name of Richard Sorkin was hired. Under Sorkin's leadership, Zip2 started to look like a decent business. He changed the direction of the company from online listings to providing a platform for newspapers to create their own directories. Sorkin used a new investment to hire a team of programmers to expand the company. But he found that Zip2's code, which up until that point was solely written by Elon Musk, was so bad that the programming team had to erase all of it and start from scratch building a new website. Elon Musk was very upset that his code was being dismantled, and he disagreed with the new company strategy. So he began staging a power struggle within the company to oust the CEO, Richard Sorkin. At the time, Sorkin was working on merging Zip2 with City Search, a competing company, but the deal fell apart due to internal turmoil within Zip2. Things got so bad that Richard Sorkin left the company and a Zip2 investor had to take over the CEO position. Despite the company losing lots of money, it managed to be acquired by Compaq in 1999, who wanted to integrate it into Alta Vista. These were the late 90s, a time where anything with a dot com at the end of it could be sold or IPO for billions of dollars. Compaq, betting on the internet, had taken a strategy of acquiring a bunch of dot com startups with the hope that this would set them up quite nicely for the internet boom. Zip2, however, would prove to be a very bad acquisition by Compaq, as Zip2 never made any profit and was later shut down. Compaq's overall acquisition driven strategy would prove to be a very disastrous decision. When the dot-com bubble burst, Compaq lost 75% of its value and would later be acquired by HP. And as for Elon Musk, he ended up being the richest man in the world. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.